in the secluded outhouses, under fences and letter boxes, under barbecues and amongst garden litter, are the messy webs that hold the killing fields and the hundreds of offspring of a very deadly female. Tucked in the corner of her web, the scarlet stripe of the red back spider advertises her lethal capabilities. Found throughout Australia, the red back has a striking resemblance to its close relatives, the infamous Black Widow of North America and the Katipo of New Zealand. The webs of these comb-footed spiders are impressive feats of design engineering. The silk that is strewn from spinnerets on the underside of her abdomen is used not only to construct their so-called gum-footed tangle webs, but also for wrapping food and constructing woolly egg cases from which hundreds of her young will emerge. Young red-backed spiderlings will disperse from their maternal web by ballooning, taking themselves to a high point in the surrounding foliage and letting out a fine silken line that will be caught by the wind and carry them to their own new nest site. In order to reproduce, the cannibalizing female will most likely have eaten the male whose sperm she used and continues to store for up to two years future reproductive use. The tiny, seldom seen male, five times smaller than the female, will have offered up his abdomen to the often striped female who consumes him while they meet. The venom of these industrious females is one of the most potent of all Australian spiders and is stored in venom glands just above the fangs. Despite its high toxicity, the small size of these same fangs means that often only a very little venom is delivered in its bite. While this may be more than enough to subdue their prey, only one in five bites causes significant envenomation in humans. When it does, pain at the bite site is extreme. Although there have been no reported human deaths from the red back bites since the introduction of an effective anti-venom, this anti-venom is the most commonly used in Australia, reportedly used more than all other anti-venoms combined. For these young spiders, the fight for life has already begun, and the spiderlings emerge as cannibals, eating any unhatched eggs as well as their siblings. Once their homes are established, these rather timid spiders rarely leave their webs. Most bites to humans occur from accidental contact while rummaging around gloveless and unaware outside the home. Her incredible spinnerets contain microscopic spigots that each produce a single filament of silk. It is this which allows her to combine filaments in different arrays for different tasks of life. And so she goes on, spinning and weaving and breeding bringing in up to 5,000 potential new venomous lives during her own lifetime.